Our second group here with Jeremiah Thielander and Jason Jenkins. Raise your hand for questions and we'll call on you. Let's start us off. But ben, we'll start with you. Jeremiah, with some of those runs that, that they were able to pop off, I guess just two weeks in a row that we hadn't seen y'all give up to the majority of the first part of the season, just maybe what needs to change going forward on, on some of those run plays? Yeah, we just got to continue to build a wall, shoot our gaps, get the double teams off the D linemen. Um, I know our guys are going to continue to do that. So I'm not worried about that. We just got to continue to build a defensive wall. Questions? Wes? Patrick? Jeremiah, what, what, were, what was State doing to get y'all a couple times out of gaps on some of those long runs? I mean, 14 points is still a pretty good night, but it looked like there were more rushing yards maybe than y'all usually allow. Yeah, they were just running regular insert, counter, inside zone. They weren't doing anything special. Like I said, we just got to build the defensive wall. Jason, can you take us through your strip sack and what you saw in that play and how important it was in the game? Oh, yeah, just, you know, basically, you know, it's passing situation, you know, it's uh, hitting with a speed rush off the edge, um, you know, seeing the quarterback step up and everything, and, you know, I just made my best effort to swat at the ball. Um, you know, ball came out, and, you know, defense, we, you know, we came, came up with the ball, so it was a great moment for the defense, for sure. Jeremiah, did you recover the ball? Yes, I did. There was some confusion after that. Were you, you were trying to have to convince the refs that you, you got it? Not really, no. I think he's seen the ball in my hand, so I don't think there was any confusion. David? Jeremiah, have y'all talked as a team about, I mean, y'all have not allowed 20 points in a game all year and that continued tonight. Is that something that the team takes pride in and talks about? Yeah, we definitely take pride in that. You know, the goal every game is to hold them to zero, so we don't even want 14 on there. Um, but we definitely talk about that, and it's a defensive mindset that they don't score in our end zone. Do you feel like y'all played? I mean, it sounds like you've kind of got mixed emotions about how y'all played tonight. Do you, do you think y'all played well, or, or were you upset with the, the oh, run? I, I was not upset at all. We held them to 14 points, and defense played great, and we came out with a dub in the SEC, um, and we're going to celebrate this win. Caleb? Jeremiah, what was your point of view on Boo Carter's interception? Oh yeah, Boo Boo came today and he played his tail off. Uh, he's been making those plays every single day in practice and that's nothing new to him. Um, his, his play came and he made it, so shout out to Boo. Jeremiah, how much does next week mean to you? And uh, just what do you feel like is important for the defense this week in preparation? You know, next game mentality, um, it starts Monday morning. You know, we're going to watch the film on Sunday, flush it, and next game mentality, go 1-0 this week. Kimmy and then Wes, Jason, and then Paige. You've made some big plays. There was a sack and then the sack fumble tonight. What's the key to your ability on the pass rush? Um, you know, just utilizing, you know, just my length, my arms, you know, just uh, – Utilizing power, speed, you know, just trying to just work my craft and, you know, and uh, really just trying to just emphasize just, you know, playing long and just being able to, you know, uh, shock and shed guys and, you know, just try and use my uh, physical attributes to my best. So, Jason, at what point were you kind of convinced that, you know, you, you definitely wanted to stay here and you could contribute here? Oh, no, I've, that, that never changed for me. I've always wanted to stay here. Well, in terms of what, when did you feel like that, you know, like you're a guy who can make plays at this level. When were you convinced of that? Well, I, I was always confident in that, but I, you know, just the work, you know, has to come with that as well, and you have to, you know, continue to work. And then, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a tough league, so you know, just to to play, uh, you know, at, at an SEC level, you got to elevate your game. So that's what I, uh, you know, day in and day out. That's why I, that's my challenge to myself to elevate my game. Agent and Vince. Um, Jason, a little bit kind of what Tealy and I were saying earlier about maybe gaps and stuff, but this is now back-to-back -back games where the opponent's been able to kind of run the ball a little bit better than what your averages will tell you. What do you think is contributing to maybe the opponents having a bit more success? I mean, it's it's really just all, all, all on just really just us just fitting our gaps, just being gap sound. And, you know, as, as a defense, you know, we, we're going to watch the film. We're going to see where... Uh, we may have slipped on some of the plays where they broke off for long runs, and you know we're gonna uh, correct those, and you know we're just gonna just um, you know try and just totally fix our mistakes coming into this next week. Vince, Jeremiah, after uh, Nico went down, Gaston came in at quarterback. Uh, how much did you guys kind of take some extra responsibility that <clears throat> to see the offense wouldn't go into the same pace? And you know, obviously, you, you guys did your part after that. How much did you got to? take responsibility to help get to the finish line with the defense. Yeah, I honestly just looked up and seen gas in there, and 
I didn't think twice about it. It's a guy that's been with Hype for a long time, and I know that he's ready for his time, and he was. So as a defense, we always have the offenses back, and nothing really changed for us. Um, the standard is the standard. Brian, Jason, it was discussed plenty this week that Coach Levy at Mississippi State had been with Coach Hype before. You know, going against their defense or their offense, did it feel similar to what you guys face every day? And if so, did that help you at all, the kind of familiarity there? Oh, yeah, you know, absolutely, especially, you know, with the type of tempo that they run, you know, on the offensive side, um, you know, that's – we go against that every day in practice, and you know we uh, we we know that they had some of the uh, their own stuff as well. But you know m most of the looks were pretty similar. So um, you know we we uh, we just keyed in on that and just played played our brand of football. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thanks, guys.